Hello everyone. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can use the new annotation function built into our Fretics 1D image analysis software to annotate your gel and block images. Hello everyone. So today I'm going to be showing you through the new annotation features that we've built into the latest update to our Fretics 1D gel and block quantification software. Uh, so this is version 1.1 and it allows you to add annotations in both the image and on the data um, within your lanes uh, and I'll be guiding you through that in a second. So this is obviously just the image view that you'll recognize from our previous videos where we define how the software is going to interpret the data that's held within the image, how we're going to view that, change the contrast, do anything like that. So we can't add annotations in this view, but every mode past this within the workflow we can now add an annotation. So it doesn't matter where you are in your analysis workflow. If you notice something that is particularly interesting that you want to add an annotation to, you can do that. That annotation goes into your report at the end. So when you export your results, in 10 years from now, if someone reads the, you know, the PDF report of the experiment that you've done, all of your kind of comments, your notes, your annotations, they'll still be there. So as I said, from the lanes mode onwards, we can start adding annotations and I'll show you how to add an annotation on in the image view on an image based annotation and then once we go into the band mode I'll then show you how to add an annotation that aligns with uh, the data view so the profile lane view so say I wanted to add an annotation about this band here it's unexpected it's really interesting you know it requires kind of further investigation something like that so if I just hold my control key and left click, I can then start dragging out an annotation. Now you can see that the kind of the tail end or the end of the tail of the annotation is where I started my left click and I can drag around this kind of comment box within my image to wherever I want it to go, which is super important if you've got a very busy gel but you still want to add annotations to it. You obviously want the ability to kind of put this annotation somewhere where it's not obscuring other data. So then when I've finished with my annotation, if I release my left click, you can see we go into the edit mode for the annotation. So once we're in the edit mode, you can see that we've got a few different basic editing functions. So we've got the ability to change the font. And now we've got a number of built-in Windows fonts here. Um, and what we can do is change the size of those fonts using uh, based on just normal point here so we can choose any font that we want from kind of the built-in windows fonts comic sans if we really want to do some serious scientific annotation here we can change the size we can change the font color we can change the bubble color and we can change the the kind of the outline and the tail color of our annotation this is really important again um, because not all gels are the same color you might have applied a false color heat map on the gel in the image view because you want to see faint bands better, something like that. Uh, so there's a lot of instances when you, you know, you want to be able to control that to make sure that the, you know, the the information that you've typed in is still legible compared to the surrounding colors. So we can type in here. This is a test, for example press enter and leave or we can just left click outside of the editing mode to gain access to that and then and then it's in it's part of our image now so we've got our annotation added if we did want to edit it we can hold control and double click and get back into that edit mode and if we want to remove this particular annotation uh, we can click on the the, the the trash can icon here and we can turn our annotations on and off at a global level. So if I had many of them, for example, I can turn them all on and off using this view. So even if you are in a situation where your annotations are obscuring some of your data normally, that doesn't, you know, we can still turn them on and off to be able to see that data when we're operating on it. And then afterwards, turn it back on turn them back on so that I'm just going to add some kind of basic lanes to get me through to the bands mode and then I'll show you how to annotate actual data from our lanes so that's adding annotations to our images 
We can also do it within this view here in the top left. So like I said, as you move through the workflow, you don't need to go back to annotate something. You can, um, you can just keep annotating things as you notice them throughout your workflow so you don't have to go back on yourself. If I wanted to come through and say I was on lane six and I wanted to annotate, instead of annotating a band or like a visual area, if I wanted to annotate some data, if I wanted to annotate this here, again, if I left click and drag, I can add an annotation and that annotation will start wherever I place my cursor. So if I wanted to annotate just kind of the side of a peak, for example, here, which would be really hard to do, you know, visually just looking at a band, I wouldn't be able to, to pick the side. I would only be able to kind of see band or no band, especially with thin bands in an image like this. Again, I've got all the same options. All this information is going to go into the report. I can add these where I want to. So yeah, that is the annotations mode that we've now built into Fretics 1D. So you can annotate your image, you can annotate your data, you can annotate both, neither, whatever, it's up to you, but you've got all the tools to do that now. Turn them off and on, and then export that as part of your report, and have all that information. Again, in 10 years time, if you go back to a report and you're wondering what, what the hell any of the bands were, what any of the antibodies used were, visualization, what the sample was, annotations are a really good way of keeping, maintaining that information with your experiment. As ever, thanks for watching. And if you'd like a free trial of Poetics 1D to try out with your own images from your own lab, please check out the links in the description below.